Yo, it's your homeboy RCN and back with another Gunther review. Today we're going to review the NG1144 scale DOM from the original Gundam series or Gundam 0079. This kit basically is very pricey and very rare based on what I've seen so far. But I got this for 500 PHP only at Omoka Atibapa. They sell legit anime and Bandai kits for all your otaku needs. I've seen another Gunpla tuber by the name of Flamo Kyogoro review this kit or paint this kit to to make it look good so i would recommend you to go to his channel to learn about painting stuff and for more vintage goodness now to the unboxing of this kit this kit is basically a uh, very basic kit it has eight steps or ten steps basically based on what i've seen on the manual as you can see here And this kit only has three runners, one being black and two being purple, and a small amount of glue to put it together. Because Bandai was so generous back then they give you glue. As for this kit's accessories, you have two heat sabers and one extra hand. That's all you have here. To unlock this kit's full range of moments, we're going to remove the bazooka. And because it's an old kit, we don't have a head and waist articulation because it's just two slabs slapped together with some glue. As you can see here, the shoulder can go all the way around 360. The upper arm can go side to side pretty well. The elbow can go 90 degrees or more and the hands can go 360. The, the legs can go forward and backwards because of the big ass skirt and the knees can go very far because of the bulky armor also the feet can go a fair amount of forwards and backwards and that's all that this kit can give you And here we have some size comparisons. We're going to compare this to the humble 1144 scale gym. It's very small compared to the doll. We're going to compare this to the much more superior version, the HUC DOM. The NG144 scale DOM is very tall, honestly. Next is the HG Zeong. It looks very big with the stand, but it, without the stand, it doesn't look very big. Here are some skirts comparisons if you are curious about that. For the summary, this kit is very old and it's not for it's not beginner friendly, so I would not recommend you get it. But if you'd like to paint, get it. 